here back again with a brand new YouTube video so we all are big fans of Red Dead Redemption that's why we're on this video today if you aren't a big fan of Red Dead you're clearly watching the wrong video I have many more so make sure you comment subscribe and like this channel we're on the road to a thousand and that's where we're gonna get to and I hope to God we get there soon you guys have been watching my videos and the stats for the channel have been going through the roof so thank you very much for that uh, we all love Red Dead you know, we all love Red Dead Redemption. We all love Arthur Morgan. I do. I love Arthur. He's my favourite. You know, in the top three favourites for the main characters in any video game or media franchise for that matter. And we're going to be recreating him in Red Dead Online. So, here we go. We're going to make sure we have an outfit slot for free. And then we're going to get to work on Mr. Morgan's outfit. I'm going for this one. And he can do it in black, which I don't really think looks too good for him. But the brown, I think the brown really looks good. So we're going to go for a brown cutter hat. This is going to cost you one gold bar. Next, we're going to move down. That's not going to cost you more than $30. Uh, go to the coats. Oh, yes. It is a, a leather jacket in this sort of nice gone-off brown color. Moving down to the shirt. So I've gone for a, a light blue everyday overshirt. Not going to be more than $20. And then we just have to do some ed editing like that. So there you go. We have the nice blue shirt, the black neckerchief, the brown leather jacket, the brown hat. Also, there is an option. He does have a um, he does have a vest, but I don't think I have one available. Maybe that one, kind of, a little bit, or maybe that one if it was in a different color. But um, maybe go like that. There you go. Go for that vest. That was the traditional vest in a light a sort of light brown colour like that. So you see the blue sneaking in there. He doesn't wear any gloves, no gauntlets. Uh, the pants as well, that's another big one. Uh, did I go for the bandito pants? Or was it maybe the brown jeans. Yeah, brown jeans. Studded pants. There we go. Studded brown pants like that. And then we have to make sure he has his boots. I'm gonna go for the brown. Brown boots, and then spurs, you can choose whatever spurs you want, there's the gold wing spurs, or traditional, I'm probably going to go for the traditional western rider spurs, and then that is your Arthur Morgan, and obviously you can edit him and tailor him to whatever you want to do, or change him up however you like to, and then obviously with the facial sort of stuff, that's your choice as well. Yeah, my Arthur in the single player always had a beard, so I gave him a beard and the appropriate hair colour and stuff. But it's just a nice little homage to uh, Arthur and all the cool stuff he did in the single player. I loved playing as Arthur. I was gutted that he died too early in the game. It really upset me. It really put a number on me when he died too early in the single player. I just, you know, I felt like I could have had so much more content with him and he was such a cool character. Now with some optional content you can watch it if you want to I'm gonna be doing the level 4 difficulty for this late latest bounty that's come out this week if you've enjoyed the video press the subscribe comment down below I always reply to the best of my ability I'll see you all in the next one enjoy the footage god damn anarchist Sergio Vincenza he ain't even American either did you know he was gonna kill the governor if they didn't find him out? And who can guess how many minds he poisoned talking that collectivist nonsense? Stopping this loud mouth is what the law was made for. Ain't gonna be easy though. I heard he's bedded in deep with a bunch of these zealots. Oh. And he's a former military sharpshooter, too.